Today we'll do a little quick demonstration on proper over-under cable coiling technique. You'll notice as I uncoil this that the cable is connected on the outside of all the loops. Therefore, the entire thing comes loose when I undo it. Put it back. I take one end. You'll notice the tie is at the male end. Put it in my hand. Face the end away from me. Pull the cable towards me. Get about three feet. Make a loop. That loop is just like if you're doing an over and over wrap. You roll the cable in your right hand towards you. As it twists, it wants to make a loop. For the other side, I get the same length of cable. And I roll this part of the cable away from me. And that makes the under. Same for a normal everyday cable wrap for the over, rolling the cable between my thumb and forefinger towards me. The other one rolls away from me. That will give you this over, under, over pattern. That continues until you have the entire cable in your hand. Alternative method is to do the same thing, make a regular wrap, then grab the cable, thumbs out, Rotate your right hand until the cable crosses it. Rotate it again. Place that loop on. So a regular loop. Then you turn your hand around, thumbs out, cross the cable, then lay that over in your hand. You're bringing those two thumbs together. One regular over cable. Turn your hand around, cross it, then bring the thumbs together. Again, the regular way. Roll the cable towards you, between the thumb and forefinger finger laid on, and roll the cable away from you, between the thumb and forefinger, bring it under. Over, under. You'll notice if you get the under right, gets a coil, doesn't look like this, and the cable comes across the back of your wrist. Finish the coil. And at the end of the coil, you should roughly have 12 to 18 inches across diameter loops. And along the outside, connect the ends. I like to attach a piece of tie line with a clove hitch, not the ends so they don't fray. Wrap those around and tie a bow just like on your shoelaces. Make sure that that is firm and tight, as if it's loose, this will wander around, you'll get this going through. And for every loop that this goes through, for every two loops that this goes through, you'll have a knot. And the alternative method for cables that don't have mating ends, if this were two quarter inches or speak ons or whatever, is you lay the two ends on the outside of the loops close together, and then tie them like this. That's it.